Hey everyone, it's Aslam and in today's video we will be looking at Instagram Manager 2020 full photo formation. Is it really outdated? So before we begin, make sure you click the subscribe button, hit the bell to turn on the notification and make sure you give it the thumbs up to this video so this video can reach to more people. So is full photo formation really outdated? I don't, I don't think it's really outdated because this photo to formation it can be really useful when you are playing against a defensive team very defensive team i mean who are sitting very deep to defend your team against your team and they are not really pushing you up higher or they don't really come to your own your half to push you like oppress you something like that then this photo to formation can be really helpful for you and how to set up this formation to win your win a team against a very defensive team so how to set up this formation? View the instructions first. So if we go to general, we will put the width like you see here. I have put it to the default. I will show you exactly how to do it. So for the width, you, I like to put it in the normal so that there is no much, not too much space between my player and there is not too, they are not too close to each other. Okay. and for the mentality I would like to put it in the normal again so that they they don't switch off when they are attacking and suddenly they lose the ball so that they know they have to defense again what happens sometimes is if you put it in the attack too much they tend to switch off when they lose the ball and they don't really uh, try to win it back again so I make it to the normal so that they are balanced and attacking and the defensive when they get the ball they try to attack it when they lose it they try to be defensive and they can cover the back uh, back four okay for the tempo i put it in the first yeah so i have a really uh, gifted technically player they are fast and their control are very good and their uh, person are very accurate so uh, for those of you who have the player like uh, PC but not on a uh, technical side like ball control and uh, passing are not that accurate then you can put it to the normal for the creativity to put it in the discipline so that the player can know when they get the ball what they have to do it they don't need to be like adventurous they can tend to do whatever they try to do something like new one no not like that so that they know what you wanted them to do okay? For the attacking, as you can see here, I have put it in the mist. So for how to do set up the attacking instruction is to for the passing style will be short and attacking style will be down both flanked. So see here, down both flanked. So the wingers and the fullback can cross the ball and one and one crossing with the crossing the ball, it come here to the well let's go to the forward first to shoot inside. And the wingers to be on the early crosses and the midfielders to be run at defense so like i was talking about wingers can be crossing the ball as you see i have set up the winger to play early crosses and if you see the instruction you see a little different from my last video in last video i have talked about how to win uh, games against uh, big teams in that video i have set up the instruction so i don't want to talk about too much on th this video about that video so you can check out that video on my description i have, I have put it a link to that video so let's talk about this video for forward i have put a shoot on side and winger to be play early crosses so when the winger are playing in early crosses they are not going to be running down this uh, left flank or right flank so when the uh, forward player when they get the ball from that process if they are trying to wait for the ball or walk the ball inside the ball they don't have uh, too much help from the wingers all the uh, full bird because my full bird they are not going to push high up too much as you see so what so the best thing to do is to shoot on sight from that area because the team is very defensive you are playing again they are they will be always sitting deep down so when you get the ball if you try to So when you get the ball, if you try to uh, walk through, walk the ball inside the ball, what happens is all there will be always uh, defense player, opposition player, one after another. So the best thing to do is shoot inside. 
so that you can get a chance to go okay so uh, when you play early crosses because like I said they are very defensive team their defense will be very compact here so the best thing is they don't let them to run down the this left run or right run and try to cross from there if you do like that uh, the chances are very low because of you are crossing from this far up the defense opposition team are not as much as deep as they should be when you are going down the flank so you are crossing early the opposition team defense will be around here so you really get a chance to score the goal and midfielder are run at defense so I, like i said the play, opposition player you are playing against is very defensive so they are not going to push up if you put your defensive player or uh, midfielder player to like, uh, play through ball what they tend to do is whenever they get the ball they just put it up uh, for, put it to forward player they give it to forward player straight away so it becomes very difficult for your forward player to play uh, uh, to play and score the goal so the better thing to do is to run at defense for the defense uh, I like to put a uh, press uh, all over so that my player whenever they lose the ball they can uh, immediately press again for the tackling style I like to put it in the normal back line will be normal again okay so by putting the tackling style to normal I don't really uh, let my players to make rush challenges and for the back line as well by putting it to normal I don't my back line by before they don't just uh, press very high or they don't just uh, deep they don't just backward very uh, very different they don't go very defensive as well when the opposition player come up then they, they will be tend to push them a little bit higher up as well as when they need it they will be a little bit uh, how can uh, how to go there they can just uh, they can back a little bit here and until that only when near the point of the area boss and they will start to press very hard so it's uh, this is to how to set up your photo formation if you want to play so uh, let's say expression about the player see see here I have uh, full back not win back because I'm playing early crosses as you see they sh they it doesn't it doesn't need them to go very high up the pitch so the full back is okay and for wingers it's uh, for wingers is here okay and for this middle pairing middle pairing this two I have put Pogba in a box to box position across to the playmaker position so this idea I basically got it from Arsenal uh, the Arsenal from 2004 uh, Vieira would play always like a box to box player and uh, Tony uh, Gilberto Silva would play always uh, like defensive midfielder but whenever he get the ball he will put it for the Pogba or he will put it for uh, he will try to fight the David uh, Buckham Dennis, Buck Dennis Buckham I mean okay so Messi is playing a role of Dennis Buckham here as you see he is uh, like a deep line playmaker he will uh, come he will come to get the ball and Ronaldo are playing the role of the Henry here as you see there will be Nima is on I put it on the P-Rest uh, position with the Chisa on the Lombard position okay so I, I I would advise you to try this formation if you are playing against a very defensive team and you are having very difficult to play against them in a 4-2-3-1 formation or 4-3-3 formation because I have had that difficulty as well when I play against them a very defensive team if I put it to the 4-2-3-1 or 4-4-4-3-3 my forward player is alone here as you see here not like two pairing there will be only one person here so for them it's very difficult and they they couldn't do anything when they get the ball so I advise you to try this photo formation it's really help out okay you can win the game easily then so let me show you again how to set up your formation so for the general okay with normal mentality normal tempo normal tempo will be first of course creativity will be disciplined for the attack person style will be short attacking style will be down both flanks 
forward will be shot inside, wingers will be play early crosses, and midfielder will be run with defense. In. The defense, the pressing will be all over, tackling style will be normal, and the line will be normal. And this is your player instruction. Okay. So let me show you. I have played against a defensive team with this formation and how I how my team has my team has done. So let's go to the schedule. Okay. As you see here. And go there. So here with the Crystal Palace in the Premier League match I have played. Let's see. Okay. I have uh, Cristiano Ronaldo who scored a hat trick and a Messi who scored a goal. Okay, and if you reach the match stat here, my position is 72% against the 28%. I have a shot 23 and on target is 9 with the corner 11 and yellow card 2 and no right card of course. And if you see the Crystal Palace mustards, they have a 28% ball uh, position. They have 6 shots but they have zero on target you see here okay so let us go to the mind please as you see i have set up the 442 formation with the winger chisa and the neymar if you see neymar have a very uh, like uh, not his he normally you get match right here eight to nine you know if you put it in the attacking midfielder but he got a seven match rating he is not used to playing as a winger so it's really difficult for him to play because he is playing very, uh, he don't, he is not familiar with that position. David Alaba get very difficult to play the, play the play, play against him also. Because Chisa is uh, literally a winger. What happened? Kimmich can play really nice behind him. So as you see, Kimmich have a uh, assist, and uh, Chisa has two assists from his crosses, and Ronaldo score from those crosses three goals as well and a Messi score one goal as well so as you see here so guys make sure you click the subscribe button hit the turn hit the bell to turn on the notification i'll give you the thumbs up to this video please make sure uh, please have this video reach to as many as people when you can share this video as well okay guys